Plants vs. Zombies 2 is a game which has you traveling through time to battle zombies with a vast assortment of plants. There are several different worlds to play through, but one I found particularly interesting is called Frostbite Caves. Set during the last ice age, in this world, there are chilling winds that can freeze your plants, rendering them unable to move and defend you. However, there are also certain plants that can generate heat, thawing out the plants around them. These include the pepper pult, and the fire pea shooter. When I first saw this, I thought it was just an interesting gimmick, but it turns out that there are actually plants that can heat up their surroundings in real life. Thermogenesis is the process by which organisms produce heat. All warm-blooded animals can produce heat this way, but surprisingly, some plants can as well. The eastern skunk cabbage is one of these plants that has the ability to keep itself warm. Found in parts of North America and Asia, the plant is called the skunk cabbage because its bruised leaves give off a foul odor similar to that of a skunk. In experiments where the plant was placed in an environment with an air temperature of around 15 degrees Celsius, the temperature of its inner core was found to be 9 degrees higher, and in an environment with an air temperature of negative 15 degrees Celsius, the plant's temperature was found to be 30 degrees higher than the air. This ability to generate heat enables the skunk cabbage to melt ice around it, just like how the pepper pult and fire pea shooter can thaw plants on the tiles around them, so it seems that this idea wasn't as far-fetched as I initially thought. The reason this is possible is because of something known as thermogenic respiration. In normal cellular respiration, organisms break down organic molecules to synthesize ATP, an energy-carrying molecule which helps power cellular processes. However, in thermogenic respiration, instead of saving energy as ATP, plants like the skunk cabbage convert energy to heat. This heat helps to both keep the skunk cabbage warm and attract pollinators. Well, thanks for watching, subscribe for more science videos, and until next time, I'll be waiting for you to come back to the tutor.